With the scleroderma, it's a very, very lonely disease. And I can see how it can, these diseases, when you're uh, diagnosed terminally ill, how it can take effect and uh, destroy a lot of parts of your family and your private life, your public life, everything. It uh, gets to the point where you either got to say enough is enough or you just let it take in, swallow you up. And back in August of last year, I decided that it wasn't going to swallow me up anymore. I've had enough and uh, it's time that people know about this disease. And I did a silent auction up at the stem winers here at Kimberley. Uh, we did, uh, we had some great prizes and not a lot of people showed up due to the fact that uh, the weather was pretty shitty that night and there wasn't a lot of uh, advertisement for the event. But it went off really good, uh, everything happened that I promised and I made one promise that uh, I'd be leaving around January 1st. Well, I didn't have a lot of money and I did leave January 1st in a car that uh, should never have made it to Victoria by any means. Any means it shouldn't have made it, but it made it. And uh, the day, day after I got there, the engine fell out of it. And uh, right there I was ready to give up and I it got pretty tough there for that whole day and a half trying to figure out what I was going to do and where I was going to go and who I was going to stay with. And it got to the point where, you know what, either the Lord is going to guide me along here or it's, it's done. And it wasn't done by any means. Uh, one of the dealerships had donated me a car to keep me going and just that little extra boost and as that went on, uh, hotel after hotel after hotel and it just got bigger from going from Paul's Motor in all the way up to the Delta, the uh, Queen Victoria and one that's really really in my heart pretty deep is uh, the Marriott Company. Uh, there's again a, a guy by the name of Ken out in Victoria who uh, would treat anybody like gold. He helped me in Vancouver, he helped me in Victoria. He, he was the person that actually gave me a lot of uh, opportunities to talk to a lot of people about this disease because of uh, him let me stay on with the Marriott chain. I met uh, some army guys up on top of Salmo. I went into uh, the Navy base, I, it took me a week and a half, actually, from the beginning with that contact to the time I actually was able to get onto the base, it took probably about two and a half months of constantly calling and, and stuff. And everything I've done, it's constant. You can't just call and then never call back. And uh, every person I've talked to, every person that's on this campaign, uh, I feel deserve the world record that I'm going to put on. It's not for me, it's for all the people that had stood up for this disease. I'm just the guy that's uh, going out there and bringing the awareness, but these people are making a difference. So. Uh, I came home and I think uh, Cranbrook, Kimberly and uh, Creston and Fernie all deserve this world record. You know, it's a very loving community and I think that the people here, they don't realize how loving it is, but it, this whole area has opened up their hands to me and they'll open up their hearts to every person that comes to the world record and puts on a really good show. But. Uh, with the campaign, I expect to, that I'm, as soon as the world record is set, if I can do it here, I'm hoping, uh, I will be on the road, I'll be hitting Alberta, I want to do Lethbridge, uh, Lethbridge, High River, uh, Okotoks, Calgary, uh, Red Deer in Edmonton, and maybe Rain White, Rain Wainwright to go up and say thank you to the Army guys for supporting me when I really needed it. Um, it looks like it's going to freaking maybe rain a little bit. <laughs> I think we're all wondering about that. Yeah. Who knows? If that's the weather out here. You can, one minute it's hot and one minute it's cold. <laughs> but uh, this bear here, if I, if anything happens to me across, going across, and I have to stop for some particular reason, this bear will keep going. We're going to try and get somebody that's good, that has square dermat to carry on in their province, just to bring awareness in their province. They don't have to carry on with that part of it, but as long as they can. Uh, keep going with the bear and, and uh, the next person takes over and this bear will get donated back to this town hopefully and put in a glass box for eternity, you know. <clears throat> that's where I'm donating it, whether whatever the town does with it, that's up to them, but it'd be nice if they put it in a box and people can come look at it. I like hugging the girls better than the yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's one more hug for hope.
I just want to send out an invite to some key people that I really use to help uh, bring the word of the illness and uh, get a lot of help throughout my journeys. Is, uh, one is uh, Jason Alexander from uh, Seinfeld. His sister has suffered from the disease. And another one is Bob Saget from uh, America's Funniest Videos and Full House. I could use their help. They are very big in the square drama down in the United States and uh, bringing awareness down there. And I'd like to call them out for a hug. Another one I'd like to call out right now is uh, uh, a man by the name of Stephen Harper. Um, I've had a lot of good success with the government out here in British Columbia. They've come on board with the campaign. And I could sure use the, the man that runs this country behind this campaign because it would make a, a lot easier on me as I go across Canada.